Airtable just released a new view called the Roadmap View. It's only available on interfaces, and it's only available on the business and enterprise scale plans. We're going to talk more about that in a moment, but first, let's dive into the feature. Despite being called a roadmap view, I think a ton of people are going to be using this even if they're not on product and engineering teams. In our use case, we're going to take a look at a marketing example where we have various social media posts that we want to post to different networks. So in my interface, let's go ahead and add a new page. When we're here choosing a layout, you can see this one marked roadmap. This is how we're going to select the feature. You can't do it as standalone. It has to be inside an interface. I'm going to have my table be our posts and our stacking field, we're going to use our status. Now, if you're thinking through best practices, I typically like to have something like a status, and that's going to be our different columns. And then our rows are going to be the other grouping criteria. In this case, it's going to be our different social networks. So we'll keep our status going across the top as if it were a Kanban, and now we'll have these additional groups. And one thing to point out is Airtable makes it sound kind of proprietary. It's the roadmap view. But in reality, this is a Kanban with swim lanes. Swim lanes are just a way that we can add horizontal organization to how we're already organizing our Kanban in vertical columns. So the first thing that I'll do is I'll click into the view itself and we'll get some additional settings here. If I scroll down, this is the main area that we're looking at here that's different. These are our rows and we want to add that grouping by mechanism. So here we'll add a group and then we'll add our channel. And you can see right off the bat, this now organizes this. So we have kind of a matrix style view. We have both our columns as well as our rows. Now, if you want, you can actually add nested layers of grouping here. So maybe we have our campaign and now we can actually have this nested underneath our groups. So it's kind of like the group by functionality that we have in other views, but here we have access to those vertical columns and then multiple group buys. And just for kicks, I added one more group here and that option went away to add a group. So we have three different layers that we can group by. Now in our columns, we can toggle on or off to show empty columns. I typically keep this off so that we aren't going to show columns where we don't have data. But if you have some certain statuses that things need to move into and you don't have any cards there, that's where you'd want to have this feature on. What's interesting to me is we don't have that same feature in our rows. We can manually collapse one of these if we want, but it's not going to actually remove it from the display. Now, as you'd expect, we can make our cards a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. We have an image field here and we could choose an image. Here's the reality of this though, is when you're dealing both with horizontal and vertical data, this is going to get really long. Imagine I had 10 cards here in the Facebook and draft area, we'd have to be scrolling a long ways. So I typically would remove this from the image field. We have a use case internally where we manage our YouTube videos. And even though it would look really cool to have our thumbnails be able to be tracked here, that's something that it just takes valuable screen real estate. So I would take that out. But instead in our fields, we can click into this and we could choose the image here and we could display this. And so we want a little snippet of that, just a tiny thumbnail that works as well. Let's add our campaign as well. And we'll have the campaign and that image show. And then we also have a footer and I'll search by the date and we'll do our scheduled date. And so we can have both fields that display kind of in the body of the card and then a footer as well. Really the only other options that we have here in the rows are to change the size of the label, which is pretty minute here of a difference. And to turn off, we can toggle the number of records. So this view is something that I'll be using a lot. But the strange part for me is that this is simply something that should be an add-on toggle feature of the existing Kanban instead of its own dedicated view. Now, of course, Airtable's taking any piece of functionality that it can, and they're gating it behind their most expensive plans. But a Kanban with swim lanes is something that's available on lots of other platforms, including Airtable's competitor, SmartSuite. And it's just simply a feature that you toggle on. With Airtable, it's really strange to me that you'd have a Gantt view, something that is much more complex than this, available on the team plan, but then it's the business plan that has this roadmap view. But when your goal is to push everybody to your most expensive plans, it makes sense that any new functionality is being released onto these plans. Have any questions about your own Airtable setup? Don't hesitate to reach out to our website at automationhelpers.com, where we're offering free 30-minute consultations.